Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Judges chapter 17 and 18, Proverbs chapter 25 and Acts chapter 23. If you're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Judges chapter 17 verse 13 and Micah said, Now I know that the Lord will be good to me since this Levite has become my priest. Judges chapter 18 verses 1, 5 and 6 In those days Israel had no king, and in those days the tribe of the Danites was seeking a place of their own where they might settle, because they had not yet come into an inheritance among the tribes of Israel. Then they said to him, Please inquire of God to learn whether our journey will be successful. The priest answered them, Go in peace. Your journey has the Lord's approval. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 Like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. Acts chapter 23 verse 11 The following night the Lord stood near Paul and said, Take courage, as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father, longs for our soul to be aligned with Him. Israel had rejected God as their king and they started to bring in idolatry and immorality. Micah crafts an idol and strangely dedicates it to Yahweh and manipulates God into blessing Him by paying someone from the tribe of Levi to perform his cultic rituals. Dan, the tribe of Israel, invades the land that Micah lived and they get the shrine with the idol and all the plunder. But then they forget the law given to them through Moses not to have any idols. Israel's adoption to pagan gods has always grieved the living God many times. Today, let's ponder upon the idols of this world that we carry in our baggage that forfeits our soul. May God give us the discernment to follow him wholeheartedly and shun every idol that takes his place in our lives. Thanks be to God for the gift of salvation. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.